Put some socks on. So one of the most contentious issues I have ever encountered in the menswear community is the debate that swirls around the sockless look. I have never seen anything in menswear that is so incredibly polarizing. People are passionate about this. The level of intensity in the debate is something I have only seen in arguments over things like politics, religion, or sports. I find it extremely fascinating. What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa. You're watching He Spoke Style. And today we are digging into the topic of socks or no socks. First, let's start with something that I think we can agree on, and that is that this issue is primarily seasonal. This is something we talk about in the spring or summer for those of us who experience four seasons. I don't think any of us would argue for showing some ankle on a freezing cold day when there is a foot of snow on the ground. So having established that, let's get into it. There are two main arguments that the anti-sockless faction likes to cite as reasons that going sockless is a bad choice. And the first of those is that your feet sweat. This is actually a very good reason to avoid going sockless. You know, after a day of walking around without socks and any pair of shoes, your feet will be sweaty, they will probably stink, and so will your shoes. There is also a high probability of getting blisters. Some proponents of not wearing socks will recommend using some sort of powder, like a talcum powder or gold bond, to prevent sweating. In theory, this is a good idea, but it does have some drawbacks. The first is that any powder is going to be messy. You're gonna get it on the floor, in the shoe, no way around that. Second is that a powder is not going to last all day, not even close, so when it wears off, you're back to square one with your sweaty feet and your sweaty shoes. Personal story, I had a pair of white Sperry Topsiders boat shoes that I used to wear without socks all the time, all summer long. I did try the powder thing and it did not help that much. So on this issue, I side with the people who say that you should be wearing socks. Moving on now to the second reason for the anti-sockless sentiment, and that is that it just looks bad. Now here is the point of the video where I say, are you serious? Tell that to the legions of stylish men all over the world who proudly bear their ankles. So are you telling me that this guy is not stylish? Or this guy? Or what about this guy? Or these guys? Or him? Or him? Or him? So the people who say that the no socks thing just looks bad, subscribe to this type of prescriptivist style conservatism that frankly, I do not understand and will never understand. The only credence that I will lend to this rationale is that in some cases, some cases, it might be true. But this is really dependent on the context or situation. For example, should you be doing the sockless look at an important business meeting? Probably not unless, you know, it was in Italy and with a bunch of other rakish Italian gentlemen. As always, in all matters of style, the best advice I can give is to exercise good judgment and some good old-fashioned common sense when in doubt. So now, what are the reasons for bearing your ankles? Well, number one, socks are hot, especially in the summer. I mean, who wants to be even hotter when it's already 90 degrees out? My second reason, which is a direct contradiction to the people who say it looks bad, is that I think it looks cool. It's cool literally and aesthetically. To me, it's relaxed. It's a way to take some formality out of a suit in the summer. And honestly, with fabrics like linen, cotton, or fresco, it's really a perfect match. So the best way to wear shoes without socks or the right way to wear shoes without socks is actually to not wear shoes without socks. The sockless look done right is an illusion. And the way to achieve this look and still wear socks is through the magic of no-show socks. If you see me with a sockless look, I am wearing no-show socks 100% of the time. There are many different brands of no-show socks out there, and I will be doing a roundup video of the best no-show socks very soon. But spoiler alert, the best no-show socks for men are not actually no-show socks for men. My experience, the best no-show socks for men are in fact women's peds. I'm being completely serious. Don't knock it before you try it. I'll put a link down below in the description to the actual socks I'm talking about right here. And I challenge you to try those and then come back here and tell me that they're not amazing. Okay, so I have been wanting to open this can of worms for a long time on the channel and now it's out there. You know where I stand and I would like to know where you stand on this issue. Whether you are in the never sockless camp or if you think it's totally fine, please leave your comments down below. Keep it clean, no low blows. Let's get this discussion going. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and until next time, thanks for watching and stay tailored.